<coughs> Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna paint with acrylics. Okay, I got some brushes here. All of my brushes are synthetic brushes. You can see I got flat a couple of round brushes and then fiber brushes <coughs> okay just one second okay the colors I have are titanium white cadmium yellow cadmium orange cadmium red alizarin crimson Ultramarine Blue and Mars Black okay. Okay. I'm going to start with this one uh, Let's start sketching I just uh, right now I'm squinting down my eyes and I'm comparing. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just one second. Okay, I'm gonna start mixing uh, just green, blue, and yellow, and white. Just thinking right now to paint uh, the grass that I see here and a little bit of the sky. Okay, here I'm mixing. Ultramarine blue and white for the sky. I'm gonna pick up a clean brush and I'm gonna just add uh, the lights on the face. Okay, my canvas is uh, kind of an orangey canvas. I prepare this canvas with acrylic, acrylic, uh, uh, or cadmium orange and blue, just that. orange and white adding water okay I'm, I'm squinting down my eyes and basically what I'm gonna copy uh, just lights I see a triangular like a uh, shape here that's the light on the forehead now the nose cheek okay below the, the nose here and the chin okay I'm 
Okay, to do this, I'm keeping my eyes squinted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. More white, and I'm gonna paint the. Uh, the uh, okay, wait. Okay, the blouse here. more water. I'm using a lot of water. Obviously I want this layer to be pretty transparent because I'm not so sure about my drawing yet. Okay. But I can, I, you know, I see this and I have an idea about the face. Okay. okay. Another thing that I do, I check out, I, I always use a mirror. Okay. And I got the photograph close to my canvas and that way I can compare easily. Oh hello Sharon Okay hello B tool thank you <coughs> okay I got this and just I see the lights on the face the mandible the chain here aligned with the blouse, this portion, okay. Now uh, checking this a kind of tri triangular shape here. That's gonna be a native space. Okay. Now I wet this brush here. Add, add a little bit of water. Just I spray water on top of the brush. Or I dip, you know, the brush on, on water. I put it on my table just to keep it wet. I pick up a new brush. Okay, now, now it's gonna be about the darker shapes. <coughs> gonna mix orange here. Sorry that lately I'm coughing, you know, I'm allergic, and it's gonna this cough is gonna stay with me for a little bit, a little while. I don't know how much time. Okay. I'm trying to mix just brown. Yeah, this orange is pretty light. I'm gonna just mix red, yellow, blue. Okay, it's not the color I want, but I think it's gonna work. Yeah, more yellow. No, again, I squint on my eyes. I see all this shape is dark here. Okay. Okay, now the cha the shades, the shadows on the face. Okay, the same, you know. I'm trying to see this shadow here, the eyebrow and the eye. <coughs> just thinking that it's just one flat shape, something like that. Okay, now the same for this eye. Now the nose. Now the mouth. Okay, let's check on the alignment, the neck with the eye. Yeah. I'm squinting to keep this to so see the lights on the face. Oh, okay. You can see a face, you know, you can see a face, a face there. <clears throat> it's not the color, but uh, I mean, I, I think you all can see that. Just basically, I'm trying to copy lights and shadows. Just by doing that, 
I see the shape of the face. You can see, you know, position of the eyes, nose and mouth. Hello Domingo, hello Mer Mercia, hello Marius. Okay, just thinking um, and comparing. Uh, okay, no, I'm gonna go back with the first brush I used. Okay, it has a lot of water. I'm gonna mix again green, ultramarine blue, and cadmium yellow. A touch of black. enough there I don't want to get close to the face I don't want to do something like like that you know because I don't know exactly where is where it's gonna be the face you know Okay, I gotta go back to the light on the face. Oh, first the sky. Okay, again, sky. Just white and blue. Right now I don't care if maybe the blue is not the same. If it's too bluish, maybe it needs to be lighter. I, I don't care right now about that. <coughs> it doesn't matter, you know. Um, you can change uh, the colors, adjust the colors and values so many times. The painting is going to dry faster. That's an advantage to change the colors. go back to this orange and white now I'm trying to keep it pretty simple you see my mixtures for the sky that was just ultramarine blue and white okay for the shadows it was just brown blue and orange and now for the skin it's just orange and white okay again Later. Yep. I I still need to make it lighter, you know. But you can see the photograph, the, the the light, it glows more on the face. But this is lower process. Okay, more white. Now I'm going to add a touch of yellow. Yellow is going to make the color brighter. Okay, look at that, you know. Okay, 
Uh, I like it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Now a clean brush. <coughs> I'm gonna use the same brush that I use for to paint the sky. Just white. Just pure white, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Stepping back, checking out, comparing, uh, squinting my eyes. A lot of squinting because I don't see, like, uh, I don't have any uh, preliminary drawing, that's why. You know, uh, drawing and painting, and basically using values. That's why I separate light and shadows. And I'm trying to just to uh, go pretty lightly with the brush strokes. And that way I got some softness between values. Okay, you don't see a sharp edge between this and this. Okay, it looks like some blending. I mean, I didn't blend anything. It's just like the, how I apply the brush. Oh, Domingo... Uh, ¿Tienes un cupo para clases? Sí, sí los sábados hay clases. Sí, sí uh, el enlace está debajo, ¿no? En la descripción. Mm. Gracias, gracias por el interés en unirte el, a las clases. Okay, now I'm going to pick up a smaller brush because I've been working with these three brushes. These ones are pretty huge, you know. I'm going to move to smaller brushes like this one. Yeah. Okay. The only thing that with a flat brush like this one, usually I have uh, sharp edges. With a filbert brush, <coughs> it's better just to not leave some sharp edges. But that's okay. Let's see. You know, I like the effect of the flat brush. Somebody wants to blend, you just lay down a brush stroke, pick up a clean brush, and you just do this, and you got some blending. Yeah, that's gonna be difficult to blend. Uh, let's say that's fading, you know, one layer on top of the other. Because blending, like blending wet paint, like with oil paint, that's difficult with acrylics. Yeah, but anyway, you know, that's one way to do it, it works, if I want to blend this portrait like a lot, I could, I could like keep, uh, keep doing that, like I lay down a brush stroke, and I could do this with a clean brush, it could be this one, it could be any brush, just a clean brush, soft brush, a little bit wet, and I do that. If I want to work wet on wet, 
Yeah, I, I gotta just be faster, you know. Or use any any other any medium that to slow down the, the drying time. I just uh, love to. I prefer. No, it's not like that. The love. I, I prefer just to use water. Now we gotta pick up a mirror. Uh, uh, sometimes I use my cell phone to check out the reflect the reflected, you know, image. Yeah. Okay, for the shadows, uh, see uh, some cool shadows there. A little bit of violet, a little bit of purple. For example, this bluish color here is for the skylight. All the blue is, you know, it's because of the sky. You know, uh, we have sunlight. We have two lights here. Sunlight that is pretty strong. The skylight that is not that strong, but it's just like a, a dome that add, you know, that light everything with this weak light blue. But the sunlight is kind of, is the, the one that creates the shadow, a lot of light and shadow. Okay, that's usually why we see some sometimes bluish shadows or or even lights on the upper part of anything that we paint. That this are just not you know that this outside is getting sunlight. Because remember, it's not it's not just getting sunlight. It's getting sunlight and the skylight. And then this light blue is because of the skylight. Okay, for the same reason, this skylight is bouncing here it cre and creates a cool shadow. Okay, and for the same reason, the sunlight bounces and creates a warm shadow. And on the shadow, we see a combination between warm and cool colors. Look at the, the neck, for example. Nick is an example here. You see, there's a light blue there. It's pretty clear. Yeah. If for somebody this is new, I would just suggest to check out just some any color theory book. This information is just the same for years. It's nothing new under the sun. Uh, uh, what I mean is you check out any book, you're gonna get this information. It's not a secret. The thing is that just you start to understand how this color theory works and that help us to see more, you know. Then we, we know why we see some kind of bluish color like the one that is here. Yeah. Or or a warmer color here and a cool color next to the warmer color and we gotta count on the ambient light the ambient light is because of all the colors around or subject you know light is bouncing everywhere and every time the bounces bring color from here to there
Okay, hello Edward on Facebook. Mm. I'm gonna try to add some details on the eyes and on the face in general. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I'm just I got the, the eyebrow here. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, basically measuring. From the eyebrow to the nose, I see kind of halfway from the eyebrow to the nose, I see the eyelashes here. Okay, now I take that as a reference and I move down, and the other eye has to be here. Now, this is the side of the nose, yep, and it's aligned with the tear duct here. Okay, it's not per a perfect alignment, but I mean, at least that helps. And again, if you have seen me uh, painting and drawing, uh, you know that I always check out proportions. <coughs> I forget to mention this to, in this painting, but I always check out, for example, the distance from the eyebrows to the nose and from the nose to the chin. Always. Okay, and then from the bottom of the nose to the chin to find the, the, the mouth. know about those proportions just check out the Loomis method it's free out there okay I'm using this uh, brownish color basically to draw I see this shadow is more reddish, is kind of vilish, but when, uh, let's say, uh, at the beginning we just try to simplify things, that's why I keep, use f I keep using few colors, few mixtures, simple, and as I continue I start just to, you know, add more color. Not that more colors to my palette, I mean, more colors, I mix more colors on my mixtures. Not that I'm gonna add more blues or yellow. Maybe, uh, maybe, you know, if I see that I need more colors. <coughs> hmm. Hello, Mary saying, uh, what's your opinion about CMI color wheel? Uh, that's Siam, magenta, and yellow, yeah? Uh, yeah, let me see. Cyan, magenta, yellow. I mean, that's the, the that color wheel is what is known as light color wheel. Uh, am I wrong? No. I mean, when you mix those colors, light colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow, you get a white light. It's different when we paint. You know, there are cyan, magenta, yellow. When we paint is red, yellow, and blue. And when we mix all of the three of them, we got a color that is closer, and you know, in different proportions, not the same proportions, but it's closer to black, to a darker color. When we mix the light light colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow, we get light, white light. 
Okay. Let me know if I'm making a mistake. That's what I remember. <clears throat> Every time that I paint something, I check out, you know, let's say I'm going to paint this shadow. I check out the nose, I check out the mouth, I check out the shape that is here, like a negative space. I see that this is bluish too. That's for the skylight. <clears throat> yeah. The thing about speaking about color wheels, uh, you know, the color wheel that we use that is red, yellow, and blue. It's not perfect. You know, it's like we cannot get all the colors with that color wheel. The color wheel that everybody says that is is the best, and even it's used in 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 the industry, color industry for cloth, for all of that. Uh, is uh, the Mansour color wheel. Hello Roman, is this live is only on Instagram? No, no, I'm live on Instagram, YouTube and and Facebook. Okay, I'm gonna mix a little bit of violet. Everything is useful when it's about learning to paint. You know, but to be honest with you, uh, I never studied the muscle palette. I knew, or maybe it was kind of late for me, because I didn't, I didn't know about the muscle palette when I was a student. That was my time to investigate, to try. You know. I knew about the muscle, muscle palette late, later and um, kind of I feel like more like practicing and painting like going back for me to study you know a color wheel that's me okay and obviously it's not something that I'm, I'm ignoring color theory no no for sure no I mean and always paying attention to color theory. Always, I try always to check out more. Uh, always looking for videos on, on color theory. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that we all can can just read a book about color theory maybe one day. But you know, the thing is going to be about the application. And that what takes is more hour in front of the easel painting, you know. And that's because that's gonna be difficult. Hello Bob, I'll drink water. Hello Heidi. Heidi is saying, usually a silent viewer. Hey, thank you. You started with painting acrylic portraits and your views has have been so helpful. Oh, that's, you know, 
that's pretty good and glad, glad, glad to hear that I'm helping somebody hello ta tavo or ta tavo yeah. The last time I painted a portrait here on my channel, I painted uh, with flat brush. Kind of like it, you know, the effect, the sharp edges of the uh, flat brush. But that put me in a position that I had to mix more, 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 because it's difficult to get, you know, soft edge. Basically, I got a soft edge just by adding a lot of smaller brush stroke, one brush stroke on top of the other and the other and the other until I got a transition yeah which is, is pretty, I mean it's pretty good any option when I started this painting I was thinking more about using the filbert brushes to get soft edges now when I'm using again the flat brush Sometimes we got an idea, and as soon as we start painting and see the painting, just you know, we change our mind, and that's pretty normal. Mari saying, I just mind blowing the fact that you can use magenta yellow to have red or cyan on magenta, dark blue. Yeah. Yeah. Hello Evelyn, hello Bastian. Okay, need to step back. Check out, I got the blue here, I got the skin color. I love the light on the face, but I think I need to add more yellow. Yeah, I gotta knock down this color here. You know, I like it, but uh, I gotta control just that color, this color here. Uh, no, no, it's not the moment to 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 keep it. Maybe, maybe I will. I will. I, I don't know. I gotta see. I gotta continue painting. The more I paint, the more I have what I want. The more I see if I keep some changes or or I got some keep some happy accidents. Let's say or make a unhappy accident a happy accident. But I mean this, okay, this could be like a an accident, not a happy one, but after painting more and more, I can think, hey, you know, I'm going to keep that color. Yep. Not the time to, to do it. I'm gonna add maybe some cerulean blue. I don't know. Let's see if this blue, how this blue works. If this blue, you know, creates the transparency I want, I'm gonna keep it. If not, I'm gonna use cerulean blue to my palette. Yep.
some black and come in red a touch of orange I was doing pretty good, pretty good with my allergic. I mean, I wasn't coughing that much. And yesterday I got ice cream. I couldn't resist. Now I'm coughing more. Eh, what can I do? Hello, Gi. Gi. Uh, oh, sorry, Giderme? Gidermi? Gidermi? Are you painting an MDF wood board? No, I'm painting the canvas. Yeah. This, this is just a simple canvas, a stick to a board that I bought on Dollar City. No, I, I'm not saying that you are not, not, not recommending any, anything, you know, this canvas is pretty cheap. Uh, and I, I, every time that I, got a, I, I, I buy a canvas, uh, I have to add an extra layer of gesso, sometimes two layers. I think I got two layers to this one. Yeah, I think I add two layers to all the, uh, the ones that, I mean, maybe some of them I just added one layer for the ones that I use for acrylic but for the ones for oil paint uh, yeah, I gotta add a couple of layers for those ones The better canvas, I think that everybody keeps saying, and I think that's pretty good, are, are the primate, prime, oil primate canvas. Yeah, if, you know, I think that's, those are the ones that we should buy. I mean, for acrylic, no, obviously, yeah, for, for oil paint. Sorry, <laughs> it's confusing everybody. You know what happens? I paint with acrylics and with oil paint too. And yeah. Okay, 
got this yellowish color on the forehead. Oh, I like it. Um, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this yellowish color. You know, yellow represents pretty good sunlight. is too much. I'm gonna add white and orange. More white. Oh, do you use retardant or only water? Just water. Bastian, this is a pro tip. Apply gesso with a joint knife, not with brush. It works so much better. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I do, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Bastian. Yeah, that's pretty nice tip. Pretty good tip. I think I added too much yellow to the face. I'm gonna spray water <coughs> on my acrylics. Okay. <coughs> Glycerin cream zone for the upper lip, which is darker. 
some orange here for the shadow here. Just want some brown. I think it's good. Let me know in the critique if I see that uh, I make a mistake in there. You see that I didn't realize about the mistake. Just let me know. Feel free to critique my painting, okay? Mario say another <laughs> question for another question for you. What are you doing with the palette area in the end? Uh, yeah, maybe today I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stand, you know. But usually I keep it like that. I got a bunch of the paintings. And uh, I just keep, I, I like it. Uh, I like just the palette there. For me, it's a reminder of the colors that I used. And it's just like seeing a little bit of the history of the painting. I didn't do that intentionally. I did that uh, because um, it was pretty difficult for me to keep, kind of keep a couple of cameras, one camera pointing to my palette, the other camera pointing to, you know, to my painting and moving my brush, mixing on the table and going back to, it was just like difficult to keep that for, for YouTube, you know, for making the videos. And then I thought, okay. I, I don't know, I, I, maybe I saw somebody, you know, yeah, I don't even remember, but I'm pretty sure I have, I have seen somebody just doing the same, and I thought, hey, that's a good idea, I'm gonna just do it, and that's sim simpler, just one camera, palette, and painting, yeah, that's, that's easier. to orangey okay more orange and yellow okay to add this highlights on the hair Yellowish, more orange. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> okay.
Okay, uh, let's work on this. I, I need light. Okay, here. Oh, the shadow, yeah. Okay, first here. Okay, you're gonna pick up a smaller brush and gonna blend that. Yeah, I don't want this uh, sharp edge here. Listen, Crimson. I need to spray water on my brushes. I wear my palette. <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, hello, Marina. Guillermo is saying helps a lot. I'm moving from uh, digital to traditional, and always good to see your palette. Soon things get better. I'll join your patron. Oh, thank you. Okay. I got a couple of people today that are interested to join my patron. Thank you so much. You know, that's how I make a living. So all the people that join my Patreon and watch my videos and like the videos, don't forget to like the video. It's okay. Please. <laughs> a little bit of light blue here okay a little bit of orange with a touch of red here maybe that's too intense but I'm gonna keep it you know when we add this uh orangey shadow here uh, that creates some transparency and that usually it will I mean that's what we see you know it's so often see this uh, shadow where the sun is you know it's hitting and we see some transparency on the shadows well what happens we see more saturation on the shadows okay maybe it shouldn't be this orangey 
I'm gonna keep it. Uh, let's see if I'm gonna adjust it later. But right now, I just want to keep it that orange color. Okay. Maybe it's not gonna work, but uh, I mean, it's too early to to know. You know, any question is welcome. You can ask me, you all can ask me any question you want. Maybe I'm not gonna be able to <coughs> answer all of them, but I'll try to do my best. I'm not gonna use a, a, a faint brush. No, no. I'm just gonna keep using this. Uh, <clears throat> these brushes. I'm mixing yellow here to get some greenish color. I think with this brush is enough. What do you think about adding that more bluish sky? Or maybe just like kind of white sky? Maybe some cerulean blue for the sky, yeah? I don't know. pretty nice you know I mean I, the painting <laughs> I like my painting you know it looks pretty nice the, the, the photograph this Jamie please <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna add cerulean blue of cerulean blue.
Let's see if this cer cerulean blue works for the shadows here. I mix this one on top of this, that, that means I got a little bit of yellow and now this color look kind of greenish I like it, anyway I like it now I'm gonna add a little white Now I'm going to add a touch of yellow to this white to make this brighter, okay? With a touch of yellow, I mean the white glows. Especially if you're working with, uh, if you see that you're painting and, and obviously the light is coming from the sun touch of yellow. Cambium yellow is gonna is gonna work pretty good. Lemon yellow is gonna be too kind of uh cool too cool for represent the warm you know color for the sun okay <coughs> Let me pick up a little bit of orange and red tiny touches. Now I need black and a lizard and crimson. This black looks <coughs> like it's not dark enough. I want a a darker color, you know, darker, a black, like like pretty dark, but with chroma, you know, with color. That's why I'm adding this, at least in crimson. It doesn't look like it's working for 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 what I want. Anyway, I mean, it's I mean, it's not like something that important. Anyway. Mary <coughs> That's it. I'm going to try to add some highlights on the face. Okay, let's see, highlight is going to be on the nose there. Okay, here on the nasal bone.
Here too. And applying the, the paint just uh, pretty lightly. It's just like a scumbling. Okay. <sighs> Uh, Bob drink body saint rinse on sing green, no blue on the neck and bottom of her chin. Yeah. yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna add more of this light blue. too bright I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it so now when acrylics dries dries a little bit darker that means that I don't think that obviously is, is this color is, is gonna becomes pretty dark but I gotta wait okay I just I wanna wait I think it's okay yeah, I like it Oops, I pick up some blue by mistake. A bit of blue on the shadow. Okay, no. A little bit of red. Kelsey and Crimson. Cheek here. I think I need a softer transition there between those colors. I see the light is coming like like that. 
Так. I think that's better. You know, I see the shadows, cast shadows from this uh, lips on the face. I don't think I'm gonna paint them. Yeah, I'm not gonna paint those. Uh, yeah, maybe that's gonna, those are not gonna look like. Uh, wow, that's too bright. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't wanna touch the face. It's already touches, but. Uh, maybe on my painting they're, they're not gonna look okay. On the photograph they, they look pretty nice, but maybe not on my painting. Just using the, the corner of the brush. Okay. to work on the neck. <coughs> uh, thank you, Mohammed. Uh, okay. Uh, Bob is saying, "Have you have you a coffee link?" Oh yes. On the description of the video, just the coffee link. I want to put it here, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, I like coffee and I like money. <laughs> One thing you know, I see the background is lighter on the photograph, which is pretty nice. Uh, but I was thinking uh, to make it lighter, this, like this, the photograph because they represent the sun, you know, hitting here. But at the same time, I can see on my painting more clearly the face yeah, than the photograph, just because uh, my background here is a little bit darker. Yeah, now the thing is that. 
<laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Yeah, maybe some lights here and here, but not close to the face. Yeah? Pasar, pues, ¿A quién? ¿A quién? perro? No, no Ah, ya. Yeah. Oh, sí, you know. Uh, nothing, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna paint. Uh, Pretty sure you all can hear the dog. That's my neighbor's dog. I was saying, <coughs> saying my mom used to let the dog in the house because he loves to be here. You know, not look at all the time, but he loves to sometimes stay stay here. The dog, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I think this this is gonna work. I like it. Uh yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay, just one second. I gotta bring my mom back because she's out and that she's maybe she's gonna get into trouble. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Bob, for the coffee. You know, I'm gonna get some coffee tomorrow. I don't think I, I can get more coffee today. I got a couple of a couple of coffees, and the thing is that the doctor told me because of my allergic, I shouldn't drink coffee. You know, because that makes me coffee more. <laughs> I cough more if I drink coffee. Yeah, I don't know about that because I know I've been just drinking coffee anyway. But uh, I'm gonna just take a rest for a couple of days. That means they're gonna drink that coffee in a couple of days. Thank you so much. the sky
Hello, Michael. Thank you, Bastian. Like this, it's pretty nice, you know. Don't fall asleep. This painting is an invitation to fall asleep. Don't fall asleep, please, on my live stream. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, Mary saying, <coughs> my opinion is sky has to be a little bit lighter. I was, you know, I was thinking the same. You know, the, the photograph is just beautiful, and and I think a lighter sky that's gonna represent more light on the scene. I, I like the blue too. I mean, I, this blue kind of create more contrast with the orangey colors on the face, and kind of goes with this with the shadows here. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, I would love to see a lighter. I'm gonna think about it, okay? I think I'm gonna do it, just light up the, the sky a little bit. I'm cleaning a brush. Okay, let's add just white, a transparent white as a glaze. a little bit of cerulean blue yeah I like it I would love to, I think that's, that's okay for today, you know, I would love to do more, but sometimes, sometimes you just, when we add more and more and continue, continue, like, uh, we, I think it's a good moment for me to stop, and if I need to do something, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, I mean, you won't say it, sorry, just what I'm trying to say that maybe, I, I'm overworking the painting. You know, something just the beauty of a painting is just uh, 
and just knowing when to, when to stop, you know, having something kind of sketchy. Sometimes more details, what they do, they do is just make the painting kind of stiff, you know, they kill the, the softness, the movement, if there is some movement. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, and those things are pretty difficult to, to see. Pretty, pretty difficult to know when to, when to stop that's for everybody okay doesn't matter how experience uh, a painter has it's gonna be always the same the neck is a little bit up there well I see a little bit of the blow blows 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 here I didn't paint it I need a little bit of blue here, the shadow that's here. see here now that I'm zooming in you know yellowish a little bit of bluish some violet you know yellowish here again blue blue violet you know that's that's pretty nice I love that okay I think that's it for today unless somebody says something <laughs> Uh, I know that I could put more work here and there maybe but I think for today it's just all I need This is a mess, yeah. It's a mess, and the, the blue I think is too dark. Yeah, I think that's better. A lighter blue.
<coughs> okay that's it for today <laughs> thank you so much everybody for being here thank you so much for the coffee Bob <coughs> <coughs> okay did you like it press you know please press the like button and if you're not subscribed to my channel yeah, please subscribe okay yep what is yeah I mean that's it <laughs> If I continue checking out here and there, yeah, I think it's just enough. Yeah, I'm gonna continue working on this one. I like it. You know what I want to do is add in some. Uh, first, obviously, take a rest from the from from seeing the painting, and I wanna work more uh, uh, on, on color, like here, some transparencies. Okay and on the face I mean I don't want to do anything yet on the face but maybe I'm gonna add some glazes yeah, okay but not so sure yet okay. some last precious trucks Okay, that's it. Bye, everybody. See you all next week. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I see something here on the face.